Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th, Monday through Thursday. Now, I am going to be using my Radley Valentine deck. This is my Archangel Tarot cards. This will be for the main reading. This is my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I will take three of these and one of these. Um, I will also take one from, or I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the introduction, which this is the introduction, I will be using my Rider Tarot cards and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Now, the introduction is the same for all of the signs. Um, you know, so just, just know that I will attach all the different signs, all your different readings towards the, you know, towards the end of this introduction. I also put a timestamp so you can just go right to it. Now, uh, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. So the reading we do in the introduction is just an overview of what's going on in the universe and how that can actually, um, you know, affect us. Okay, we have a five, five of swords. Swords energy, remember, all of the energy, all of the suits have a different type of energy. Swords is air. That is your Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. A lot of Aquarius energy going on right now. It is your thought processes. It's your plans. It's hearing news. It's making it's thinking about things in the longer term and also in the short term, but it's also a lot of this has to do with strategy. Now, the other ones that we have, we have wands or rods, which is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, fire energy, passionate, burning, determined. We also have our pentacles, which is our earth uh, energy. That is our Capricorn. It is our Taurus. It's also our Virgo, job, money, career could be about your home. And then we come to our water energy, which is our cup energy. And that is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, very spiritual also. Okay, so we, and now, a couple of things too, besides the suits, also remember the numbers. The numbers speak to us also. So right now, we have the five of swords. Um, again, it is that air energy. Five of Swords, especially in this deck, has a sneaky snake type of energy. It's kind of like a, you know, it, it's, there is some strategies going on here. There is some thought processes going on, but it's not necessarily something that wants to be very helpful to the universe. So just, this is one of those times to really be careful about sneaky snake energy. This is, again, you know, we do have Aquarius I mean, sorry, we do have Mercury in Aquarius. It is uh, retrograde. It, you know, just as I believe that Mercury retrograde has a lot of karmic resolution, you know, there is energies that try to undo what we're supposed to be receiving. So this has just this really strong sneaky snake. Five is about change, change positive or negative. It doesn't matter. It is about change. The other thing about five, five though also has grace to it. But you look at this, you know, this person does not necessarily instill confidence, um, you know, not necessarily leaving the other two without, his, without their swords, but is taking any of the backups. So we don't even know if there's others there. There might even be, you know, the fact that he's taking three, there might even be two other people that he's stealing from. So just got to be a little bit careful. We have to think things through. I would be very careful with any contracts this month or this this week, I should say, and I would really I would really make sure. And again, I'm not a lawyer, I am not a doctor, I am not anything with finances, so don't even you know don't think that. But I would go and see the people that might need to um, provide you that you know if there is a contract with this, have somebody really look it over for you. Okay, so the universe. The universe has a sneaky snake type of energy, and I don't know about you, but Jan January has been very challenging for me, but um, with these challenges will come great rewards, and we are heading into a little bit more challenging times, but we will get through this. We do get through this, especially if we're aware of this sneaky snake. Here we go. Next card. 
Yes, we definitely get through. This is the three of rods or wands. It's that Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. It is very much a um, positive energy. It is looking to the future energy. Uh, three has the, the number of three has power to it. It's celebratory. It is also um, creative. Uh, it is also very powerful in the number, you know, do something three times, say something three times. It really projects and it really puts power into that universe, especially since we're in Aquarius season. Remember, our words have power. Our words have power. So this has, this does say look into the future. This does look at what you've all accomplished. We just have to always be careful. The hum, human nature is not all, all, you know, not everybody's nice, okay? Not everybody's nice. So we just have to be careful about the ones that are not nice. Here we go. Next card. Now, we got this the last time about, I believe. We got this. This is the Nine of Cups. Cups, again, water, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nines. You've got everything you need. Wrap it up. This is also the Wish card. So there are many things that are possible this week. Many, many things possible to happen. The only thing I want you to just be aware of, I want everyone to have hope. I want everyone to have optimism this week. Just be careful. There is always Sneaky Snake. Don't focus necessarily on that as much as focus on the potential and, you know, ask higher power, whoever that is for you, for guidance and help. There is a lot of positive energy going on here. Watch out for Sneaky Snake, okay? So, let's see. Now, Osha Zen Tarot gives me more of a words of advice, but let's see what we've got here from Osha Zen Tarot. So, yeah, this actually is, you know, this is our human, human life, human destiny. You know, there's a lot of positive things with life, and then there's also the things that we do have to watch out for. Um, you know, that, that yeah, this, this guy's kind of really, he's, he's, he's just trying. He's trying. But the thing about it is I like the way that this is positioned. It's positioned away from the positives. It is positioned away. It is looking away at the positive. So while this one's trying to cause trouble, the positive is like saying, you know, no, we got this. We got this one. Okay, let's see what we've got here for you or for the universe. Let's see. Okay, this is a very interesting one. This is really, really interesting. It is reversed. Reversed have stronger meaning to me. So it's kind of like it's a little bit more of a punch to us. Now, we have that five again. Five again, change, change, change. And this is nothingness, nothingness. Now, a couple thing is that one thing could be that, um, you know, I get this. Something is like there's something that's not written yet. It's something that's not to be revealed yet. It's something that's, you know, just kind of, you know, things are happening, but nothing, nobody is supposed to know about things yet. You know, there are things that I can ask People, you know, people want me to make, make their lives better. I hope that I can. I hope I can give you words of encouragement. But they want me to make things change for them. We're the only ones that can make things change for ourselves. And even then, it's not always easy to do. But nothingness is also kind of a, like a blank, um, a blank chalkboard. It's that we can make things happen. We have to have that belief. We have to have that, uh, we have to have those goals. Okay, so it's it's really really interested with this this card is always it's it's one thing that's very unique to Osha Zen tarot cards. So nothingness, nothingness. So is it just that it's not written yet? Is it just that there's so many possibilities? Do we just have a blank slate, or are things not to be revealed to us at this time? Okay, okay. Anyway, please remember, let me do this, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, you know, just, just help my channel, help my channel, and I really appreciate all of you that do. We are very close to 25,000 subscribers, which is really rather amazing to me, and I want to thank you all. Now, why don't we start our individual readings? Hello, my Sagittariuses, and how are you? Oh, my goodness. January has been already an interesting month, but then again, 
what what month hasn't been right right okay let's see what we have for my lovely lovely uh, Sagittarius's let's see let's see what do we have here okay here we go okay one two and three Ooh, I feel very strong power coming from yours. You you've got you've got some major opportunities coming up this week and I think you're going to make some ma you're going to there's going to be some big changes. Big changes that you are going to implement. Love it. Here we go. First card is the 3 of Ariel. 3s, I talk about 3s, very powerful number. I talked about that in the intro. Ariel is our earth energy. You know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of Taurus and Capricorn energy. This has do what you love, okay? This has a reinvigoration of getting what it is you've been wanting done, okay? I, like I said, I feel like you're going to be the, you're going to be the, uh, you're going to be implementing a lot of positive changes, a lot of the things. Now, granted, positive change, it doesn't always mean that it's easy, you know, so get ready to do some work. Okay, it's not that it's easy, and it's not that you get the immediate gratification of the immediate answer, but you are making some you are making some big changes, and it's not just for you. I feel like it's it's either for your family or for your work family. It's it's I kind of feel like I'm seeing the pebble. You know how when you throw a pebble into a pond and then it ripples and ripples and ripples and ripples. So I feel like my Sagittarius, the changes you're making will have a rippling effect on your environment. Okay, but the three of Ariel is do it anyway. Do what you love. Okay, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So let's see what we've got here. Two of Raphael. Now, two. So we have a three, we have a two. Twos joining together, crossroads, pathways. Raphael is our water energy. It is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's also fluid emotion. It's also very romantic and spiritual. It's also partnering. It's partnering. It's coming together. You're not doing whatever this is. You're not doing it alone. You've got someone else that's got your back. Someone else that's partnering with you. Now, it could also be a romantic partnership that you're just kind of, you know, that you're, like I said, it, that it, it, there's big what you're doing now is going to make some major, major changes, but you also have this partnership that is joining with you to make these changes. So it's really interesting. It's really good. It's very loving. It's very positive. It's not necessarily an easy path, but it's something that has very long-term, it, it's got some long-term um, good returns. <laughs> How's that? Okay. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. And your next card here, the lover. So three, two, and a six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Archangel Raphael, the great healer. Now, the lovers have a lot of, you know, lovers have different types of feelings. You know, I get different feelings. I can get healing with relationships. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde, so there can be, old you know old relationships coming back into your life to create some healing with that maybe to get you into a better place whatever this could be could be because of an older situation something from your past that needs to be resolved i'm kind of getting a very karmic something has to be resolved for you but it is something that um that this this and this will help it's like you have to do this this has to be there. This has to be recognized. You know, you, you, this is one of those things. Learn, learn from your past mistakes, um, you know, so you don't repeat them. But this is also partnering, loving. There's, there's just a lot of growth with this card here. There's a lot of learning from mistakes. There's a lot of um, gentleness here. There's a lot of healing with this energy, too. But again, you know, these are the two cards that give you the, the give me the clearest message. But this is the one that says that when by doing this, healing will help it happen. Healing will happen, and be, and because you do this, healing will happen. How's that? Okay, okay. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. 
So again, it all starts, I shouldn't say it all starts, but things are happening more this week. But again, not easy. It will, it is a pathway that you choose. And because of that, things, things will be, there will be a lot of healing that comes from these choices you make this week. Okay, here we go. But there's somebody that's got your back, somebody that really supports you in this. Okay, somebody or someones. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have for my Sagittarius's successful completion. So this is the world card. So we have that two one, so twos, and we know one's new beginnings, okay? You add them together, becomes a three. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion, and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Yeah, this is big. This is big. It creates healing. It creates healing for those involved. And really, this is a, whatever this is, it was a big accomplishment. It was, it's not easy. Again, too, I'm not saying it's all done, but you're, you're on the, you're on the road to some great great healing, and great accomplishments, okay? Okay, let's go on here, and let's see what crystal or energy for my Sagittarius as we have here. Here we go. Reversed Labradorite. I do have my Labradorite right here. Here we go. I think that's my Labradorite. Shamanic journeying, brave, Magical power, higher awareness. Interesting. Yes, there's, I mean, there's great, I mean, this is, this is, this is big. This is a big accomplishment, what you're, what you're putting forth. And like I said, there's great, really big healing that's going to happen with this. Also remember, healing hurts. Ask anyone that's gone through physical therapy. Okay, so my Sagittarius is take a moment to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Sages, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.